everybody just have nobody else's auto it is thursday night but we're going to do toy tuesday tonight anyway because we're running behind on schedules this week but anyway we are live on facebook so we're going to get everybody give everybody a few seconds to get their notifications and jump on with us and then we'll get into some cool toys tonight so take a quick break here and uh, get live here in about 10 or 20 seconds once we get a few people on all right actually we've already got a few jumping on with us now uh got some notifications popping up uh rico and jess are here and jess made that comment so hey maybe comments are going to work tonight too we can only hope but i'm glad rico and jess made it tonight because rico found our toys for tonight so we got to say thanks to rico for coming up with these super cool pieces we're going to start off with tonight uh he was at an auction a couple weeks ago and he sent me some pictures of some toys uh hey randy's on with us hello randy glad you made it and uh, i was like dude those zeppelins are awesome so rico uh rico got them bought for me and sent them to me so we're going to check out these zeppelins tonight as well as some other cast iron toys that i bought last summer and we've looked at some of them uh right after i bought them and uh some of if you were with us last summer you may have seen it uh Cruz from Colorado just jumped on with us. Thanks for being here, Cruz. Um, some of these other cast iron toys, if you've been with us throughout the entirety of Toy Tuesday, clear back to last summer after we got started, you may have seen some of them. Uh, Lee from New York's on. Thanks for being here, Lee. Um, so some of these may be repeats. The Zeppelins are new, but the Zeppelins are just a perfect fit, size, things like that. Oh, <laughs> Jess is like, she helped find them too so we got to give jess some credit too she helped find them so rico and jess found the zeppelins for tonight they're going to check out some other cast iron toys that are i think same vintage about the same size to go with the zeppelins so that being said let's check out these zeppelins because they are super awesome and here they are these things are great cast iron the first one here is a little bit larger of the two kind of a weird football type shape it's got an axle under the front the rear was just a sliding piece this particular zeppelin here is let's take a look here about six inches long just a really cool piece you know i don't know exactly what the age is on these but obviously these cast iron toys you can look at the axles and the wheels they're fairly crude so you know they're definitely got some age to them and looks like there may have even been another small piece right there that maybe have been broken off on this one not sure regardless just an awesome looking piece super excited about it and actually this is kind of the plain one of the two we started off with the plain one the other one is a little bit smaller but even more cool this is the other Zeppelin that Rico and Jess found for me. And it even says Zepp right on the side of it. This one is a little bit smaller. Just a little under five inches. Has a little tighter design on the way the sides are kind of have the flat spots on the sides. Has a little star on the side of it. I don't know if that's supposed to be a little window or just a rivet. And then, of course, the Zepp on the side. Once again, kind of a crude axle and wheel setup on it with a little tail drag piece on it and got the zep over here is what the star as well on that side so just a really cool piece super excited about them I want to say a huge thanks to jess and rico for finding those for me getting them bought for me and uh shipped them to me and then i just had just sent rico a check for them and everything was cool so really excited about those now the reason i was excited about them <clears throat> and like I said, you may have seen some of these other pieces if you've been hanging out with us on Toy Tuesday for quite a while. These I picked up last summer uh, over at uh, Car Auction and Real Estate in Larned. Uh, you know, Chris and Jim Froster, my partners on the F&E Collector Auto Auction, have a lot of auctions every year. And all these cast iron toys showed up at another sale they had. So I went and picked all these up too. And they are all kind of the same era, same size as the Zeppelins. So that's why I was really excited to add the Zeppelins to the cars and trucks that we had. You know, the little truck with the rubber tires, a cool car, kind of almost the same type of family, about the same size, same type of tires. You know, we look at the bottoms of these, very similar on the axles and the castings underneath on those. Got three Mack trucks. The old These would have been probably chain drive type Macs, C-cabs. These were all the same basic truck, 
in different variations. I guess two of these were steak beds. One of these were set up as like a bulk fuel bed. So there again, all the similar sizes and similar era of the Zeppelins. This little coupe is a little bit smaller, but a really cool piece. Similar type thing, kind of a rough casting, rough axles and wheels. A tank, cast iron tank, always a good addition to any toy collection. You know, can't really have a lot of real tanks, although I wouldn't mind having a real tank. It would be pretty epic. But toy tanks are cool too, especially these little cast iron ones. The last couple of cast iron cars I bought at that auction were these race cars, which I thought were just super, super cool. The blue one's probably been repainted to have paint that nice on it. The red one does appear to be original paint, but these are very similar type cars as well. And like I said, I think all about the same era as the Zeppelins that we just added to the collection that Rico and Jess found for me. So anyway, that's what I had for tonight. I thought they were kind of cool. Obviously, for me, this week's been kind of a screwed up mess. Lots of stuff going on. Obviously, the weather is a huge situation for just about everybody right now. Um, been just bitter, bitter cold here. Supposedly, have a bunch of snow coming this week or this weekend, and it's all heading east from here. So, uh, I there's probably most of us are going to get some sort of effects from these storms that are coming through right now. But, you know, we're up in the teens for highs it's just been absolutely miserable around here so and i'm sure a lot of you all the rest of you are dealing with it but it just makes schedules really tough makes staying on task really tough and getting things done so i was out of town tuesday i'm sure a lot of you seen the picture of the thunderbird that we picked up we'll have that coming up soon on a new inventory video um once all the snow's melted off of it well of course it's probably going to be recovered in snow here this weekend so uh yeah that's right jess more snow and cold. That's what they said's coming this weekend. So don't know how things are going to go from here on out here for the next several days. But we're going to try to keep doing what we can do. We've already got a video shot for tomorrow night, so we're good for that. Um, and uh, I can't remember what's on tomorrow night's video. Uh, square body Chevy, an old Ford truck, uh, and an old Dodge car. I think that's what's coming up tomorrow night. So stay tuned for that. And be sure to check that out. As always, we'll be on live Sunday night at 7 o'clock for Sunday night live chat. We've got a great group of car people jumping on with that every week. Even last week. We had a good crowd last week, even with the football game on. So uh, Tom says he enjoys the show. Thanks for being on, Tom. And I hope you can be back with us Sunday night as well. Having a ton of fun on there. We do a lot of cool stuff. We've got the raffle going on for the mobile porcelain sign. We'll do... Uh, We'll do trivia for another oil can. We'll look at another old car magazine. We'll talk about some industry news. So be sure to jump on with a Sunday night live chat and check that out as well. So hope you like the toys tonight. Hope you like the, cool, the uh, cast iron Zeppelins as much as I do. Huge shout out to Rico and Jess for finding them, getting them bought, and getting them sent to me so we could all check them out tonight on Toy Tuesday on Thursday. So anyway, apologize for the delay this week. Just a screwed up week. And, uh, Hopefully we'll get through this weekend, and by the end of next week, the weather will start cooperating, calming down a little bit, and uh, things will somewhat return to normal. So, anyway, thanks for watching tonight, everybody. Super appreciate you jumping on. Uh, love doing these. Love toys. Love memorabilia. Glad you guys got on with me to hang out and check it out. Um, be pretty boring if you guys weren't here and we weren't having having the conversations that we have with the comments and having a great time. So, thanks for watching tonight, everybody. Appreciate you stopping by and checking it out. If uh, you're on YouTube, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos on old cars and trucks. And uh, if you're on Facebook, which you guys are on now, or if you watch us later on Facebook, give us a share. Invite your friends to come check it out. Jim likes the Whippet truck. That Whippet truck is really cool, Jim. Um, I don't know what anybody would ever do with it, but, man, there's a lot more there than it looks like. It would make a really cool jalopy or rat rod or something. But uh, the Willys Overland Whippet six motor truck is uh was a pretty neat piece so if you missed that video from the other night be sure to check that one out as well so thanks for watching everybody we will see you soon and if nothing else i sure hope to see you sunday night live at seven o'clock central time on sunday night live chat we'll see you soon thanks for watching everybody